Hi everybody, Zach here. Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I am going to give you the top 15 crypto to buy right now. So you're going to want to stick around for this. Now, I have to say this right off the top. These aren't the only 15 I like. I've had to narrow it down, so it's been kind of tough. Some you may have heard before, others, ones I've been looking at very closely as of late. So it should be an interesting video. I'm going to give you a little bit of analysis around each one of these assets. Not going to have a ton of time to go in depth. Of course, we've got uh, other videos on the channel that go more in depth than a lot of these assets. But let's jump right into it. First and foremost, not a financial advisor, just for entertainment, informational purposes only. And oh yeah, no particular order here. So I'm not doing a ranking system, just giving you 15 that I'm looking at, 15 that I'm really interested in, and hopefully it helps you along your crypto investing journey. So all right, let's hop right into it. Number one is, well, Bitcoin, right? You can't avoid it makes up 45.7% of the overall market. And here's the thing with Bitcoin. A lot of people say, well, it's not going to have the utility. And that may be correct, but it's on its way to become what I like to say is digital gold, right? It's going to be a stored value. It's going to be a stored asset. Gold is a $10 trillion market cap. Bitcoin has been as high as $1 trillion. However, in due time, due to supply and demand, Bitcoin should elevate in price. Some Bitcoin bulls say, $500,000 per coin is not out of the realm of possibilities looking down the road 10 to 15 to 20 years from now. So Bitcoin up top, one of my top cryptos to buy right now. So let's keep running down. Ethereum. All right, so Ethereum makes up about 17.6% right now of the overall market. Together, Bitcoin and Ethereum make up roughly 63% of the entire crypto market. So I truly believe you should have each one of these assets in every crypto portfolio just because it gives you that um, nice backbone, right? And here's the thing. I think people, you know, kind of go back and forth saying they've got to pick one or the other. I'm, a, I'm in the camp of have them both, right? You can like one more than the other. For instance, I have more Ethereum than Bitcoin. I think it's going to grow more in the next 10 years. However, I have both. So Bitcoin and Ethereum. And Ethereum, you've heard me talk about it before if you're uh, not new to the channel. If you've been here before, I'm a huge Ethereum fan, right? It is the future of DeFi. I like to say it's the highway that decentralized finance will run on in the future. The NFT space, everything is running on the Ethereum platform there, and that's just getting started. So a lot more reasons why I like Ethereum. Go check out some of my older videos on that if you're interested. All right, so let's keep it rolling. Number three, Cardano. All right, Cardano's coming out with smart contracts coming up in August and September. I'm a huge proponent of Cardano. Here's what makes it so appealing right now. It's very cheap, and I'm going to actually have another video coming out on the channel t talking about how Cardano could potentially 10x. You might want to check that one out. But uh, here's the thing. Charles Hoskinson, very out in front, has really done his due diligence. He came over from Ethereum, took everything he learned there, and has interjected it into his new project in Cardano. And they're solving real-world problems. And I truly believe this could be an asset where institutions get behind in the future. I love Cardano. That's my number three. Top 15 crypto to buy right now. Number four, let's keep it running down, Dogecoin. And again, no particular order here, but I'm a huge fan of Dogecoin. I think it's solidified itself. Of course, it started as a meme, started as a joke. It's no longer that. It's no longer a joke. Elon is working with the dev team. We've got the Doge One Rocket coming up next year. I do believe sometime next year, just my opinion here, that we'll reach $1 per Dogecoin. All right, that's my number four. Number five is XRP. I'm not yet invested into XRP, but I just created a video about XRP. They just hired uh, a former MasterCard um, exec and somebody who has 15 years of experience in fintech. I really think if everything checks out with the SEC, XRP could really be enormous in terms of bringing finance on a global scale. So XRP is my number five crypto to buy right now out of the 15 we're going to go over. Number six is DOT. Polkadot. So Polkadot, I'm again, not yet invested, but it's a top 10 asset. And the more I read, the more I hear from some people like Perry in my Discord. Shout out to you, Perry. Appreciate that. He's uh, gave me a lot of good research on Polkadot that I've been reading. And uh, we're doing a lot of that over on the Patreon Discord. So if you want to join a private community, that link will be down in the description. But here's the thing with Polkadot. It's all about scalability. And the ecosystem is a series of connected blockchains it's really building out an entire ecosystem that's built for the future. And Polkadot is definitely one that I would put in the top 15 right now. All right, 
Number, uh, what are we, number seven. Number seven is Chainlink. This is one that I do own. I love Chainlink. The Oracle network, very unique. The ch uh, Chainlink is built for the future as well. It's kind of a household name. It's been around for a while, often gets overlooked, but I'm a huge proponent of Chainlink. It's been up over $50 once before. I do think it won't be long until we reach $100 per, per link. Uh, and I think if you can get into it now, under $20, that's going to be a steal 10 years from now. Okay, that's number seven. Number eight, one of my favorites, Polygon. You've heard me talk about it, Matic. It's a layer two solution for Ethereum. Polygon has so many things going for it. If you love Ethereum, if you're an Ethereum bull, you should like Polygon too. It's kind of, uh, I like to say, the little brother of Ethereum because it's really going to help it grow in the future. It's going to help with scalability. And it's not only going to help Ethereum, it can help other projects too. I'll give you this tidbit too. Mark Cuban uses Polygon every single day. He's talked about it a lot lately. And uh, just another reason why I'm super bullish on Polygon for the future. Number nine is Stellar Lumens, XLM. And Stellar is all about transaction speed. They are, ex they, they excel in this area. There's no question. I used to own Stellar. I actually flipped it over into some Polygon earlier this year once I made a little bit of profit, but I still like it. It's a top 20 asset that I'm definitely keeping my eye on. And I know a lot of people like it for the future as well. Number 10 is Theta. So Theta is number one in the NFT space. By market cap, it's not even close really, right? You can see currently right now they've got a $5.8 billion market cap. The next asset is in the 1 billion. So they're already 5X any other asset right now in the NFT space. We know the NFT space is still very, very new and it's still going to grow tremendously in the future. Theta along with Theta Fuel, which is number 11, and we'll have to scroll down to find Theta Fuel. And Theta and Theta Fuel together I think are going to lead the charge in the NFT space. Here's State of Fuel down here, rank number 46. Now here's what I will say about T-Fuel. T-Fuel is needed to power Theta, so it's really smart to get both of them together. However, if you can't afford Theta, which is a little bit more expensive, I would go ahead and get Theta Fuel because it's sitting here at, let's see, 35 cents right now, which actually is a steal for Theta Fuel. So if you can't afford to get up all the way up to Theta and you want a piece of the NFT space, this is where I would go. I would go with Theta Fuel right now. And there's some other ones I like. I'll give you a, a couple uh, outside of this top 15. Well, I'll give you one, Engine, because there's another one I'm going to talk about later in the top 15. But Theta and Theta Fuel, number 10, number 11, and they're both in the NFT space. Number 12, I just created a video about it pretty recently. Just actually bought $500 of it on the latest dip. VeChain, I got it down at $0.06 cents when the entire market had that mini crash. Got it down at six cents. Of course, that's right back in the green. They're sitting at eight cents now. I, I you know, I, here, here's what I think about VeChain. They're very unique in that they're in a space supply chain management that is very, very crucial for the future. And you could start to see how VeChain Vet uh, is going to help supply chain management by putting a lot of these things onto the blockchain, whether it be agriculture, retail. They've got a ton of great ideas. Go check out their website. Do your own homework on this. Do your due diligence because I truly believe VeChain can really change the world for, in a positive way in the future when it comes to blockchain technology. You know, there's a lot of these assets where we say, well, what's the use case? Like, how's it actually going to be interjected into society? And sometimes it's hard to answer that question. When I look at VeChain, it's pretty easy. I already see it impacting a lot of the big industries. Take a look at Walmart China and how VeChain is already uh, working with that company and what they're doing. Just do a quick Google search. You could find it for yourself. And that's one of the reasons why I love VeChain. It's already working, and I think it's only going to grow in the future. All right, so VeChain's number 12. Number 13, of course, the household name. A lot of people on the channel love this one, and I'm invested in it in my, uh, myself, Shiba Inu. And this one is one of those ones that, okay, it's a meme coin, right? But the amount of rewards that can be coming from this type of asset in the future, so many positive catalysts looming. Right, we've got Shiba Swap. We've got the Coinbase Pro listing, which eventually will lead to Coinbase. Let me stop right there because I mentioned something I want to hit on again in this video. Last time AMP was listed to Coinbase, AMP at the time of the listing a few weeks ago was the cheapest asset listed on Coinbase. It immediately 4X'd. I see a similar outlook for Shiba Inu once it is listed there. I do think Shiba Inu will then eventually be listed on eToro and Robinhood too. 
And here's the other reason why I like SHIB. It's built on the Ethereum platform. Anything that's an ERC20 token and built on the Ethereum platform, I'm all in on. And Ethereum is my favorite and my largest holding. So Shiba Inu is one of these that I don't have a ton of money when you look at the overall portfolio in there. But however, the amount of money I do have could produce massive, massive returns. Check out my latest video too, Six Reasons Why I'm Not Selling Shiba Inu Anytime Soon. That's number 13. Again, no particular order here. Number 14, and I'm going to save the last one because it's one I haven't talked a lot about that I'm going to give you here. Number 15. Number 14 is, let me find it. Where is it? It's in the NFT space. You probably know where I'm going. Uh, there it is, Chili's. CHZ, sitting at number 60 right now. I think this is a good price too at 23 cents. Chili's is all about the future of sports entertainment. And I think it can have a huge future with uh, bringing different types of experiences to the sport fan in the future. I love Chili's. It's definitely one that I'm looking at very, very closely. All right, the last one is something I haven't talked a lot about, and it is Siacoin. And let me find it here because it's down here close. It's in the top 100, and it's been slowly rising. I think it's in the 90s somewhere. Here it is. All right, so a lot of you who have been in the crypto space for a long time probably heard of Filecoin. Siacoin is very similar. And what Siacoin is doing is it's all in the cloud storage area. So, of course, we know the cloud is growing larger and larger. We save a lot of our documents and our you know, work material on the cloud. This is a really cool project where if you have a lot of cloud storage, you can sell it to other users and rent it out to other people all across the globe. And I think this is a really futuristic look of how the blockchain can help in cloud data storage. So Siacoin, number 15, one that I'm not yet invested in, but one I'm looking at very closely. And as you can see, very affordable. Uh, just uh, right around one cent right now per Siacoin. And it's slowly moving up the charts. Definitely one to watch. So hopefully you got some value out of this video. Let me know what you think down in the comments of this top 15. And also, you know what? List your top 15 down there. I'd love to see that and uh, love to hear from you down there. And if you got some value, of course, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And oh yeah, we've got our Patreon Discord community growing right now. We added four to five, we're adding four to five members over the past few days, and it continues to be a place where everybody's helping each other learn and grow their portfolios together. So come on over if that's something that interests you, and I uh, appreciate you stopping by, and I will see you in the next video.